Montrez Harrell. I've said it before. Okay. Montrez Harrell. They needed to get this guy confident to be the backup center that they needed. George Niang's been solid all season long. The Milton Bros and Anthony the Anthony Milton and Shake Milton have been solid all year wrong. So the fact that Milton's in the starting lineup that they're running. You know, tonight when they started PJ Tucker at center with Tobias Harris, Maxi Harden Milton because Embiid was out. And well, Tobias Harris was clutch with that put back that sent them into OT. And I think that other, you know, Matisse Dybul, we got to see some playing time of hits tonight. Well, but Montrez Harold, the big story, the big story. Guy showing that he needs to play more time, getting more time, especially off the bench, showing that he can be a factor, somebody who matters. And specifically over the last, what, 10 or so games for the season, he's averaging like 11 minutes a night. But it's really his defensive impact he's making. He's grabbing boards. He's scoring well. And just being the guy, like he's elevating with dunks and just finishing inside, crashing the offensive glass, all things that, you know, don't particularly show up on the stat sheet if you look at it. But if you're watching the game, it's the hustle plays. And for me, I think that's that's what's really getting me going when I'm watching him because this is this is what you wanted for Montrezl Harrell. And it feels like, I don't know why, but for a sec, it felt like Harrell wasn't there like he used to be. But now... We're starting to see the guy that we want, and I think that was that was fun, and that was good to see how he was playing. For me, the big thing is is when you watch a team like the Philadelphia 76ers, I think Montrez Harrell just could not be denied, and this is an undersized center who always, for the longest time, I think has been undervalued. Or and some people might even say overstated, but look, I think it was fun. But what what are your opinions? Okay, I like what we're seeing from Montrez Harold to the point that let's get let's get Montrez more minutes. A guy who's a former six man of the year candidate. I don't know. I feel like that it's we're undervaluing a guy by not playing him. But what do I know? I'm just a guy making YouTube videos in his mom's basement before he goes back for his last semester at the University of Kansas. What do I know? What do I know? But if there was anything else that you guys might have wanted to hear from me, let me know. Comment down below. We can talk about it. But for now. I think that's really all we have to say. I just think when you look at this, Montrezl Harold, he works really well with Tyrese Maxey and James Harden and all the guys because even though he doesn't space the floor, his play style makes it feel like the floor is spaced even when it isn't. So when you're you're watching the game, it doesn't feel like as clutter as it really is. And I just I'm a, I'm a believer that Montrezl Harold is. Is overhated, okay? Montrez Harold receives too much hate, and I'm on the anti hate Montrez Harold club, okay? Anti, you know, I think Montrez Harold is a guy who gets too much hate. So let me know your thoughts down below if you guys are in agreement with me or if I'm just being an idiot. I just think, like, when you look at it, this is a guy that people act like he's one of the worst players in the NBA. And I just think he's one of those guys that if you utilize in the correct system, he can be really freaking good for you in the long run. And that's where it gets confusing when there's, like, teams out there that, yeah, I understand you want to go younger, you want to be cheaper. But sometimes I feel like it's just detrimental to their success when they do things like that. Because... How many times does that usually work out? Every time somebody lets somebody walk, it's always like, up. Oh, part of the reason why that team failed was they let the so-and-so walk before they should have. Bye-bye.